Hey everyone, professional photographer Ian Plant here, and I don't know about you, but my camera sensor is always filthy. It is just always covered in dust. And so when I'm editing my photos, I usually have to take a few minutes to get rid of all the dust spots that show up. But now there is a simple and easy way to get rid of even the dirtiest of dusty sensors. It's called Luminar Neo. It's a program made by a company called Skylum, and you can use it as a standalone photo editor, or you can use it as a plugin for Photoshop and Lightroom Classic to easily remove dust spots. If you wanna learn more, then stay tuned. Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how you can easily and effectively remove dust spots that are on your camera sensor and that appear in your images using Luminar Neo. And Neo works either as a standalone program or as a plugin for Photoshop or Lightroom Classic. I'm personally using it as a plugin for Photoshop. As I mentioned before, Neo is a standalone program that allows you to do all sorts of aggressive image editing and photo manipulation. I'm only using it for the dust removal, so I'm gonna be working on the image in Photoshop, then going to Luminar Neo, the plugin, to do my dust removal, and then bringing the image back into Photoshop. So you can see here from this photo taken in Badlands National Park uh, that I've got a lot of dust on my sensor. I'm using a Sony camera, and Sony cameras are notoriously bad for having dirty sensors. And when you're shooting landscape, you're stopping down to small apertures like f11 or f16, that's when you're really gonna see the dust on your sensor. And uh, you can tell that my sensor was in desperate need of some cleaning before I took this photo. And so normally this would take me five or 10 minutes doing some spot healing, some cloning, some content aware fill to clean up all this dust. But now I can very easily and quickly get rid of the dust by using Luminar Neo. So I'm gonna go to Filter, Skylum Software, Luminar Neo. So I've got Neo already set up and it just automatically works as a plugin with Photoshop. And so what's gonna happen is we are going to get kicked out to Luminar Neo. And then I'm just gonna go to edit and go to the erase module. And you can see here at the bottom, there is a button for removal of dust spots. So I'm gonna hit the remove dust spot button and Neo is gonna automatically do his thing. Okay, it's done and the dust spots have been removed. You can see that most of the spots are gone. Some of the bigger spots are still there. So I find that Neo does a really good job at getting rid of dust spots, though with some of the bigger dust spots, it's not gonna get rid of those, but it is gonna make your job a lot easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and click apply. And what's gonna happen is Neo is going to apply the changes and kick us back over to Photoshop where I can do any final editing. All right, we're back in Photoshop and you can see that most of the dust spots are gone. Some spots are still there, so I'm gonna to have to do a little bit of light cloning and healing just to get rid of those spots, but it's only gonna take me a few moments to get that done, whereas before this would have taken me several minutes to get done. And so it actually did a really great job of getting rid of those dust spots and what would normally have been a rather lengthy process is now fairly quick and very easy. So I definitely can see that I'll be using this plugin on a regular basis, that when I bring images into Photoshop, I'm gonna kick them over to Neo to get rid of the dust spots and then bring them back to Photoshop to do my final editing. And I think this is gonna make my workflow a lot easier. Now, I wanted to test to see how powerful this tool really is. So I've got another image from the Badlands uh, taken of the same rainbow. This was actually a few minutes earlier. And what you're seeing here, you can definitely see some dust spots, but these bigger dark spots are actually not dust spots, they're water droplets. So I was really curious to see how well Neo would perform getting rid of these water droplets. And I'm gonna zoom in just to give you a closer look. You can see some of the smaller spots are the dust spots, the bigger spots are the water droplets. And some of these water droplets are actually appearing on the landscape formations itself, not just over the sky. And so I think I wanna do this spot removal just for the sky. And so a good idea when you're using Luminar Neo to get rid of dust is to create a duplicate layer of your background image. So that way you can target your dust spot removal to the areas that you really need it. So for this image, I wanna get rid of all of the dust spots and the water spots in the sky. 
I think for the landscape itself, I'm not exactly sure if Neo is going to try to get rid of those dust and water spots over the landscape, but if it does, I may not like the results. So if I'm working on a duplicate layer, I can always mask those areas out and then do my own cloning or content aware fill to heal those areas and get rid of those spots. All right, so let's go to filter, Skylum software, Luminar Neo. And let's see what happens. I'm really curious to see how well Neo does with these really big spots. See if it uh, has any problem with those big spots or whether it is gonna take them out the same way it takes out dust spots. So we go to erase, remove dust spots, and let's find out what happens. Wow, it actually got rid of most of that. There are still a few spots left here and there, but this did a remarkable job. It looks like it only removed the spots from the sky. Some of the spots over the landscape are still there. So let's hit apply, and then this will take us back into Photoshop where we can zoom in and take a closer look. Okay, there we go. Here is the before and the after. So this really did a remarkable job and it's gonna save me a lot of time. So now I can zoom in a little bit closer and take a look. So some of these spots that are still there, we can go through with that healing brush and easily clean these up. Uh, so this is something, you know, I'm still gonna have to spend a little bit of time doing some cleaning on this image, but this is taking me a lot less time than it did before. And it really is gonna save me a lot of time overall in the workflow. You know, normally I would have looked at an image like this and just thought it was useless. It would have taken me way too much time to get rid of all these spots on my own. And I don't think I would have been able to do a very good job, but Luminar Neo did a fantastic job. So you can see that we had a few water spots over the landscape. This one right here is barely visible, but I do remember there was another one right here. Uh, and to be honest with you, I don't think I need to fix those because they actually blend in pretty well with this irregular landscape. Uh, there also are a few spots here on the edges of the landscape. So you can see one right here in particular, this one right here. And so that's going to take a little bit of extra work to get it to look right. So instead of a healing brush tool, I think I'm going to go in with the lasso and just draw a selection around that area and then go to edit content aware fill. And that's going to allow me to fill that in. And uh, content aware fill has done a remarkable job there. I'm just going to hit OK. Um, so I had a little bit of work still left to do here with this image, but Luminar Neo did most of it out. Ah, here's another really big spot. I'm gonna make a selection around that. Let me switch over, right click on the spot healing brush tool to the patch tool. And then I'm gonna drag that selection over. Uh, the spot healing brush tool, the patch tool, the clone stamp, uh, content aware fill. These are all different ways that you can attack the same problem of cleaning up the spots in the sky. And each tool works a little bit differently. So if one tool isn't working, like for example, I just tried the spot healing brush tool and it didn't work very well there, I can undo that. And I can switch it over to a different tool and try that to get better results. So this basically just gives you a lot of different ways to attack the same problem and to find the way that works its best. So let's take another look before and after, what a dramatic difference. Luminar Neo did a fantastic job, not just with dust spots, but with removing raindrops from the shot as well. And it transformed this image that otherwise would have been useless. And it reveals a really nice photograph underneath all of those dust and water spots. So definitely Luminar Neo is now gonna become a regular part of my processing workflow. Of course, I'm gonna to try to keep my sensor as clean as possible, but whenever I don't get a chance to clean it, whenever I've got a lot of dust spots, Luminar Neo is the way to go to very quickly and effectively and easily get those dust spots off of your image to allow you to focus your time on processing the photo to bring out its very best. I'm Ian Plant, and thanks for watching.